Okay, so I'm on the bicycle. I'm gonna just ride around Star Valley Ranch here. I'm starting this here at the uh, campground that if you're not a member and you just wanted to come out for the weekend or something, you can rent one of these spots. I don't know how many they have. It looks like maybe 25 or 30, something like that. But they all are pull-throughs. They all have complete hookups. We're gonna move on here. So this is the cabins they rent. They're pretty nice, what I've heard inside them. I've, I've never really been in them, but they all say they're nice. But you can come out here and spend the weekend or week in these cabins. And that's the pickleball court over there. There is a huge pickleball uh, I don't know what you call it, a group, club. Anyway, there's a lot of them here. It's a big popular sport. Behind them is a swimming pool. There's more courts over there. So that's the pickleball courts. They're, they're pretty new and they're, they're about to uh, add on and make more of them. And you can just make out the pool right over there. I'll go by and get a closer look. So oh, we're coming up on the dog park here. Let's see, pull in here. And so here's the dog park. Right there. It gets a pretty, pretty large uh, group of people that come down with their dogs. Everybody's got a puppy dog out here. And there's a little uh, playground here for the kiddos. Nice swing set, and jungle gym, and little, uh, I don't know what you call it, whirly dirly. Let's go over there. It's thick gravel. Shuffleboard. That's the store. This is late in the season. I don't think the store's open anymore. But this is a swimming pool. I don't think you can see a lot, but it's there. So yeah, the store's closed. Like I said, it's late in the season. Real nice laundry mat right here. Got mailboxes. Try to get you over here to the pool. There's the pool over there. A little uh, pegboard here. And post things. The old fashioned way. And across the street, there's the, uh, and this is where you check in. When you when you pull in for your camper, you uh, check in there. Even the residents here, or the, the the owners of property, we check in when we get here. Let them know we're here. That's the little security guard cart. And there's another post board there to post stuff and they, they leave information, uh, schedules and things. So that's the entrance. And I'm gonna run over here to the golf course real quick. So here I am over at the golf course. Uh, this is the clubhouse. And there's a place here, uh, a little bar and grill. Uh, it's uh, the Goofy Bear. 
Everybody says they've got really good burgers and stuff. I've never really tried it. But the course is nice and green. Sometimes it's a little more uh, dry, but this year we've had good rain. and It's pretty nice looking over here. And they've got a driving range out here. You can rent or buy balls to hit. And here we are coming in the entrance. Those guys are leaving. This is uh, one of the older sections here. This is a uh, saddleman drive. How you doing? See, so this is one of the uh, bathrooms. There's there's several here. They're really nice. They've got private. Private toilets, private showers and sinks, and a changing room for each stall. It's really nice. So this is the uh, beginning of Rim Road. This is set up as a uh, as a stagecoach wheel, which roads are radiate out from the hub like spokes, and this would be the outside rim of the of the wheel. This is uh, Broken Spo and Rim Road. Rim Road is one of the, the better properties because it's, it faces the mountains and you get the best view on this road. So this is on Rim Road and we're uh, Let's see if we can get a shot of the, the river here, yeah. So we've got this little river running through here, right on the edge of the property. And then the mountains over here. They're even starting to get some snow up there, I'm seeing. Those are the security guards, they're uh, making patrols. So I was trying to catch him. So we're at this uh, intersection of Elkhorn, Double Tree, and Rim Road. And what you're looking at here is P-mail for the dogs. And so many people with dogs around here. Let me get this out. Anyway, the dogs like this part spot to pee, so people started leaving the pets' names and stuff. And that's one of the bad things about dogs is they don't live that long and Everybody misses them and goes through a tough time when, when they lose them. So it's kind of like a memorial, I guess. Start to be able to see the snow up there a little bit better. So this is one of the ponds out here. Uh, I know there's koi fish in there because I've I've seen them, I've fed them bread. This is normally really lush with all kinds of plants, but it's late in the season now. And the gardeners have been in here and they've divided up some of the, some of the plants and stuff and nothing's in bloom. Normally it's full of flowers. So this place is all ready for winter, but 
This is a, a like a little kitchen area. It's got a roof. It's got tables. Let's see. It's, it's like an outdoor kitchen that anybody can come over here. See, that's a big that that's a big grill right there. This deck is out over the water. Got a boat you can use there. Life jackets over there in that little uh, building there. Of course, this is like a little uh, fire pit area thing. It's really nice. Come over here and spend some time. Really beautiful in the evenings here. See the mountains back there with the snow. Uh, Seasons changing. So this is a new area that they've been uh, a new development. So this is how they the uh, the new ones come, the newly developed ones. You buy them like that, a gravel lot, and then you put in cement and whatever you want to do with them. Some people put a little bit of grass, and some people cover them with cement. Some people plant trees and everybody's a little different. So I'm headed over to the barn now. Ooh, sorry about the bumps. So here's the barn. It's a it's a really big barn. So here's the uh, the barn entrance and they do cookouts here. As you can see, they got lots of cookers because they get lots of people over here. I'm gonna sneak inside, get a little bit of a shot. Yeah, so they got a little library in here, bathrooms, and they got, they, they do dances and bands and all kinds of stuff. There's a kitchen over there. It's a pretty cool place. So sorry about the way this video is, but I, <clears throat> I'm putting it on the bicycle, and so it ends up being this way. is still outside in front of the barn here give you kind of a view this is the hub road right across there that's the new section we were just in this is just about gonna complete this I'm gonna head back over to the to our our lot I guess one last thing I want to say is there, there's quite a few places for, for sale out here. Some with park models, some just a bare lot, some with uh, cement and uh, sheds and things like that. So I'm back here at the camper and we're just about done with this little video tour. Sorry. I know that's loud. There's my boo-boo.